here we are at day 70 of learning how to shave with a straight edge, straight razor. 70 days! Lots happened in 70 days. Come a long way learning how to, how to handle the, the straight razor, how to, uh, how to strop it, how to um, uh, use chromium oxide on it to refresh it, even a 12,000K stone on how to uh, refresh it a little bit. Got into uh, some making of shaving soap. So 70 days, a whole bunch has happened. Uh, it's been a great education. So today, um, I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and shave with the uh, soap that I made. Um, last time, I'm gonna get, I've got it blooming, so I'm gonna use some of the bloom water here on the face. Just got out of the shower. Last time, I just did a test lather, and that seemed to, <clears throat> excuse me, that seemed to work okay, or it felt okay. I actually did a test shave with it yesterday. I didn't want the first shave <laughs> to, to be on recorded video, <laughs> just in case something went wrong. But nothing went wrong. It, it, it seemed to be okay. So today I want to do a video shave with it so you can, I can show you how it is. And I'm ready to go. Start lathering up, or building the lather on the brush. Gotta get the brush just a little wet. There we go. After I soak my brush, I always kind of, you know, shake it out to get most of the moisture out. And this particular soap, even after I bloom it, I need to put just a tad moisture back into it to get it to uh, do its thing. But once it starts, it does a really, really nice job. The downside of this particular batch <clears throat> that I've already mentioned when we did the test shave is I got the, um, the percentage of fragrance wrong. Um, I used maybe a half of what I should have used, and so there's virtually no fragrance to this at all. But I can correct that uh, on subsequent batches. All right, really getting it loaded up here. Nice foam, nice cream. And it's a, it's a cream that is sustained, that lasts. Longevity is good. So now that I've got the brush nice and loaded, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it even more so in the scuttle. Now some people at this point, again, this may sound like a broken record, repetition, but uh, for those of you who may be newer that will watch this eventually, some people would just go right from that stage right onto the face and, and really build the lather on the face. I like to do in the scuttle uh, just because uh, it's my preference. Uh, no advantage one way or the other. You know, I even shut the curtains this time so the dogs wouldn't be able to see outside. Hang on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. I shut the curtains and they still want to bark at something. I don't know what it is. But as I was saying, you know, there's no, no advantage, at least I don't think so, of, of uh, building the lather in a scuttle or a uh, bowl versus lathering strictly on your face. And what I do is I build the lather in my scuttle and then I paint it on the face. And, and I like it. It keeps the, my scuttle keeps the cream nice and warm throughout the entire shave. Again, not required, just personal preference. But that's my preference. And so whatever your preference is, go for it. Adds a little bit of time to the shave, I think. Uh, maybe not. Uh, you're you're going to be building lather either way, whether it's in the scuttle or on the, uh, on the face. I think it's a comparable lather and cream, creaminess, to some of the other artisan soaps that I've been using. Just a barely, barely a hint of sandalwood, so I think that that's kind of fading away. But again, 
that's okay with me. I'll, I'll, I'll fine-tune that later. Um, I may do a batch today or tomorrow uh, and try, try it again. Maybe make it look a little prettier if I can. I may paint the face longer than some people, but I enjoy it. <laughs> there we go. Good moisture in the soap. It stays moist throughout the, the shave, as long as I've uh, got the correct amount of water in it when I'm lathering it, building the lather. Alright, so today I'm using my Dovo Best Quality with Zebrawood Scales. You by now have come to know and love this razor as much as I have. And here we go. Day number 60, or no, 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 <laughs> day number 70, day number 70. So far, so good. All right, good pass over on that side. I've been calculating it out, and I think day number 100 is going to fall on a Sunday, so I may have to skip a day in shaving so I can make day 100 fall on a Monday, so I can record. This is a little nick I, I got about two, two, three days ago. And as you know, it always takes a few days to kind of heal up and you got you to gotta baby it when that happens. It was just my own stupidity. I was uh, trying to, um, I think I was coming up on a pass or, or something on the upside and was thinking about it and was resting my, the blade on my skin. I never should have done that. So even at day 70, you still do stupid things if you if you don't think about it.
pass number one. Pretty happy with the uh, the results. I have get, given a um, I've given a puck to my son for him to try. I haven't I haven't heard how that went yet. And then I'll be sending a puck to my brother for him to test. And we'll get some reports back from some other shavers to see how they like it. Lather's really holding up nicely, so pass number two, here we go. Caught a little whiff of the sandalwood there. I ordered some uh, other fragrances. Some a little more uh, flowery, some a little more woodsy. I think there's a tobacco in there. So we'll experiment with some different fragrances and see how that works. I'm also going to give my give a try at uh, just regular bar soap. I mean, it's uh, I've got the stuff. <clears throat> excuse me, but it's um, it's a different mixture of uh, of lye components and also a different mixture of oils and things. So the chemistry is the same as far as making it. It's just the ingredients and the percentages are, are much, much different than shaving soap. Because you, you're not really looking for this kind of a cream uh, with a bar soap. I think they just like to hear themselves bark. I really do. Because the collie started barking off in the kitchen and then that triggered the dachshund to bark in the, on, here on the bed and then so now the collie had to come in and see what the dachshund's barking at. And now the dachshund isn't going to stop barking. She'll just bark a bark a bark. Crazy. It's like having kids. tell you. I wonder if they do this when I'm not here. Probably so. Second pass. I hope that's not annoying to you all. I mean, just we uh, we raised three boys and they're all gone now. But uh, I mean, they're they've flown the, the nest, so to speak. And uh, the old adage is true: is you you get really comfortable to the you have more patience and you get more comfortable to the sound of your own kids than if it's not your kids. And so sometimes you just don't hear all the rambunctiousness that's going on. <clears throat> and so. The same thing with the dogs, I kind of tune it out.
so I'm gonna have to peek out there and ask her what it is she's still barking at. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm thinking <clears throat> of doing something a little different after this particular segment. I'm thinking about uh, maybe kind of changing this this uh, this channel just slightly, this playlist, uh, or ch channel I guess. Um, I still don't know all the terms. And I grew up, I grew up with the invention of the internet. Um, but instead, there's a lot of silence that happens during the shave, you know, where I'm just not saying anything. And I thought, you know, I love music. Uh, I was musician for a while. Got a, I, I was lucky enough to to do that, to be able to make a good living at it for quite a while. Got to go over overseas and play. I was also uh, fortunate enough, or unfortunate enough as the case may be, back in, in the day before automation, I was able to work as a disc jockey at a radio station, a couple of radio stations. I need a little water here. That helped. A couple of radio stations, and so I was able to procure some of the uh, some of the samples that come in. Uh, it, they were making the transition from vinyl to CD at that time. If that gives you any hint as to when that was, and so sometimes you'd get a lot of vinyl in from up and coming artists or CDs, and some of it would be really good, and some of it would just be like blah. But I was able to hear a lot of things, too, that, that uh, never never made it quite to the radio, or even if it did make it to the radio, uh, they didn't, didn't last very long, even though it was really good stuff. So I thought, well, why don't I bring some of that, not exclusively, but some of that to this particular show? And so uh, it'd be like shaving a song, or something like that. And we could talk about the song. I just have it play, while, uh, you know, while I'm shaving, and then talk about it a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe you could find that interesting. Maybe it would introduce you to some some music you haven't heard before. And again, it's not it's not not everything that I play will be stuff that nobody's ever heard. Uh, there's some stuff that may have made it on the charts, uh, but uh, but had been long gone. And I just like it. Want to. I want to hear it again. So we'll, maybe we'll start that in a couple of days. Today is Friday. I, I took today off. Normally I take Mondays off, uh, but I took today off because I had to go in and work Monday. So maybe we'll try that on Monday. Nice, 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 nice. I was reading on uh, some of the forums about some of the darkness that people experience right here. Uh, and, and, and some of the guys were saying that sometimes it takes up to two years or so to, to really get um, 
to really master that where, where maybe they didn't see that as much. I'm not sure that that will be the, the case with me. Uh, I may just always have that, but at least I know some others do too. I don't know why it started there. It's always a difficult direction for me. It's smooth. While it may look dark, there's no sandpaper there today. like to bark. I don't get to do it a lot when we're home. So how does that look today? Still see it's a little darker than it is like over here, but like I said, no sandpaper today. All right, so that is uh, the shave for number 70. And the dogs are rejoicing. That's what it is. They're rejoicing that we've made it 70 days. So if I had to review, being as trying to be as non-biased as possible, which is an impossibility on something that I created, but I would say <clears throat> that this particular batch has a, a good lather, good creamy lather. Uh, it has sustainability of the lather. It has a really good glide, so uh, uh, it's a nice smooth shave. Uh, I get a nice uh, sharp cut, and uh, and then it doesn't leave my face feeling dried out afterwards. It, uh, uh, there are other creams that, uh, yes, uh, are more moisturizing than this particular one, but my face definitely doesn't feel dried out, and uh, there's no uh, itchiness or scratching, uh, itchiness afterwards, so that's good too. So overall, I think um, I think the only thing that's really, really lacking with this particular shaving soap is the scent, the, the fragrance, and um, that was just you know because I was I guess hesitant to use too much uh, and have it be overpowering, and now I'm learning that you know. Here's the, here's the amount you need to use, and it's, it's not going to be overpowering. Clean it. I'll strop it uh, later. The one thing that I do use um, that I never, never record on, on the video is uh, when I'm all done and just before I leave the bathroom, I always put on some good old Panade, the Club Men Talc. Um, I love that stuff. Uh, so I'm, I use that. You never get to see me put it on, but it's uh, definitely some good stuff. So I'm going to finish up 
with some uh, Art of Shaving sandalwood, just because I used my own sandalwood. This is a balm, creamy balm. I like this stuff. I'm almost completely out of the Art of Shaving soap. I think maybe I've got one or two shaves left in it. That's a sad day because I like that stuff. Feeling good. Good shave today. Number 70. Gotta like it. All right. That does it for me today. Uh, we'll see about coming back in a couple days if possible, if everything works out, and try try out playing some music while we do this and talk about music as well as shaving. Two things that I think go great together. Uh, who knows? Maybe as this uh, show progresses, I'll have somebody sitting over there <laughs> smoking a cigar or something, and it'll be shaving cigars and music or songs, saving cigars and song or something like that. Who knows? <sighs> YouTube, what a wonderful thing, huh? All right, guys, uh, live life and happy shaving. Enjoy your day.